is an awesome window manager that is giving Compass a good run for its money. And, of course, I'm speaking about K-Win. And we're going to have a look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. It's been a long time since I've done a video on desktop effects and customizations. I used to use Compiz for all of my fun compositing, wobbly windows, that sort of thing, but the latest versions of Compiz mm, just don't seem to be working right. Specifically, when I was running Linux Mint 13 XFCE edition, whenever I would rotate the cube, it would flicker, and I didn't like that. And there were a few other little nickels with it that I didn't care for, so I figured I'd have a look at some other options. And another option that I tried out was the latest Cinnamon. And while that does look quite nice, it is still a little bit buggy. Enter KWIN. Now KWIN, I tried this about a year and a half ago. And I was testing KDE on my computer system. As a matter of fact, this was actually before I even started my Cup of Linux show, so it might have even been longer than that. But the thing is, it was just so much of a resource hog, because obviously I was running KDE plus a, uh, plus a uh, 3D window manager on top of it. It was, it was really consuming a lot of resources. I didn't even realize that I could run this on a different desktop environment. So I decided to give this a go. And as you can see on my desktop here, I have a lot of really neat customizations going on here. For instance, if I move my cursor to the upper right corner of the screen, you can see that I have four desktops set up here. And I can easily move and position windows wherever I want them, which is kind of cool. Some nice animations for, op for raising and lowering windows. Let's open up the Synaptic Package Manager because I want to show you what programs you're going to need and type in KWIN that is K-W-I-N and you will see I have a bunch of things here selected KDE Window Manager Common the KDE Window Manager the KWIN Style QT Curve the KDE Window Manager GLES by the way, anything with style mentioned in them is optional. The KDE style sculpture, which is what you're seeing right now on my window border here. The KDE artwork theme window. These libraries here will be installed as dependencies. QT curve was also installed. These two libraries the KWIN style crystal, the KWIN style sculpture, the KDE window manager active, the KDE window manager active OpenGL library, and the KWIN style decorator. Once you install these applications, you will want to get another program to control it, maybe. And that is called the Fusion Icon. This will allow you to also control Compiz if you have that on your system and you want to switch back and forth between these two. You will need to install this and of course it will want to install some Compiz dependencies, but not a whole lot. It doesn't really take up that much drive space. Then after all of that is installed, all you need to do is press Alt F2 to run a program and issue this command, kwin space hyphen hyphen replace and that will launch it. If you chose to install the Fusion icon, press Alt F2 and then type in Fusion dash icon to run that and then you will get an icon on the upper right portion of your screen. And with this you have the option to select Compiz. If you do, you won't have any window borders unless you have the rest of Compiz installed and configured. And Check out my Pinguy OS how-to series if you want to know how to do that. But you can choose between KWIN or whatever desktops you have installed on your system. If you're running GNOME, you may have Metacity. 
and you will have XFWM4 if you're running the XFCE desktop like I am. Just right-click on your window border, select More Actions, and then go into Window Manager Settings. And from here, you have full control over everything this will do. Now, the list of things that this does is extensive. There's no way I'm going to be able to cover all of this. I don't have the time to do a complete how-to series on this one like I did on Compiz. But I'll give you a brief tour. Now on Desktop Effects, you can select all effects here, and then you can choose different options. For instance, I have the Looking Glass uh, enabled here, where if I press a key command, you will see that I have, you know, magnified a portion of the screen by doing this effect. But maybe I don't want that effect. I can shut that off and apply it. And then maybe select a different magnifier. Press apply again. And you can see now I have a magnifier that maybe looks a little bit more professional. You can blur other windows um, that do not have focus. Um, there are a bunch of other features. You can make windows explode when they are closed or maybe even fall apart. Let's have a look at this one. Oh! <laughs> Not really my bag of tea, but it's fun. So there are a lot of options, and some of these even have options you can configure, such as the magic lamp here. Whenever I minimize a window, you can see that it fades in and out, and I can even uh, tweak that a little bit. I can use the default, or I can change the animation duration to as long or as short as I want it. And, of course, my favorite, Wobbly Windows. You can even configure this to be as rigid or as wobbly as you want it. Press Apply, and then, yeah, doesn't quite wobble as much as I... <laughs> so we can set that to wobble some more. All right, I'm happy with that. And then, of course, you have advanced options. Uh, if you have a good driver installed, you can use OpenGL, or you can try and use XRender for, I believe that is for software rendering. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. Then there are options for task switching. Personally, I like this one the best. Screen Edges is a really cool thing because now I can do all kinds of fun things with this. For instance, I can show all of the available windows that I have. And let's just open a few windows here. And if I move my mouse to the upper corner of the screen, now I can see all of the active windows. I also have a hot spot here for desktop grid. So when I move my mouse cursor, now I can maybe even move windows to a different desktop if I want to. And there's no limit to how many desktops you have. And of course, everybody's favorite, the desktop cube. Just by moving my mouse to the bottom of the screen. And I can rotate it around. And as soon as I let go of the mouse, it pops back into place. This is the cat's meow right here. Don't have the deco window decoration that you want? This program will get it for you. Just select Get New Decorations, and a dialog will pop up, showing you a screenshot, and some decorations you can add to this. You can even click Details and get a closer look at that decoration. And then you can just simply click Install, and then use it right away. Personally, I think the sculpture one that I'm using right now from the repos is pretty cool. Now, some of you have asked, what is the panel that I'm using? 
My panel that I'm using right above is called Avant Window Navigator. If you want to know more about that and how to configure it and use it, please check out my Pinguy OS How-To series. I cover that and Compiz in great detail. I like the Avant Window Navigator because it is so highly customizable and it has a lot of great applets for it that you can just simply download from the repositories. It even has uh, an application drawer which you can click a button and easily get access to your favorite applications. All of these highly customizable. You can customize your panel and uh, you can even download the Cardafio applet for this for a nice alternative menu and that of course is covered in the series. KWIN brings a lot of eye candy and desktop fun to the table. But experimentation is key, folks. There's no way I could go over all of the settings that this thing does. But after spending a little bit of time with this, you will be able to achieve the look you're after. Mm -hmm.